He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Go, let's talk. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ul... Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. And what would you have me do? For Ulfric? Well, nothing official. Known him for years. He seems to value my thoughts, and I'm grateful for that. I don't really have a mind for war, and I think he likes having an untrained opinion from time to time. Grew up here. Cold as at Mora. But that just grows the beard sticker. Lot of history in these walls. We're trying to make some more. It's a lucky time to be alive. Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes. You were with us at Helga. Destined for the chopping block, if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> a fair point. Well, you've come to the right place then. Speak with Galmar. I'm always looking for able fighters. Not everyone can say they made it out of Helga. Seems we're all branded villains these days. So long as your criminal past stays in the past. And you fight for me with honor and integrity. We'll welcome you into our ranks. You think I need to send Bolgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on Whiterun. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in this? I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day words are enough will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Not entirely true. Though not entirely false, either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards. Given enough ambition and dedication. My shouting Torg to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. We're fighting because we're done bleeding for an empire that won't bleed for us. 
Untold numbers of Nords died defending the Empire against the Dominion. And for what? Skyrim being sold to the Thalmor so the Emperor could keep his throne. We're fighting because our own Jarls, once strong, wise men, have become fearful and blind to the people suffering. We're fighting because Skyrim needs heroes, and there's no one else but us. I killed Torek to prove our wretched condition. How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? I challenged him in the traditional way, and he accepted. There were many witnesses. No murder was committed. True, he didn't stand a chance against me. But that was precisely the point. He was a puppet king of the Empire, not a High King of Skyrim. His father before him, perhaps, but not Torig. He was too privileged and too foolish. More interested in entertaining his queen than ruling his country. Indeed, Elisif has become Jarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King, backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met to name her High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been hand-picked by the Emperor, and given emphatic nods by milk-drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by shouting to However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. My father, the great bear of Eastmarch, died during my imprisonment after the Mark Garth incident. I, his only son, forced to deliver his eulogy via letter I had smuggled out of prison, such as the love of Titus Mead for his subjects. When finally set free, I returned to Windhelm and was greeted by a city in mourning. At one with my own grief and anger, clamoring in angry voices, calling out for justice, for war, they sat me on the throne. The throne of Isgomor, the throne of my father. I only hope I can prove worthy of that honor. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us, but if he wants to throw his men away, I'll gladly accept that gift. Keep your brother, and he'll keep you. Hmm. Hmm. Helga, now. Dolfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Now, but first, tell me, why is a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim. Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. That's what I like to hear. So long as you can back up those words with steel. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. Only the ones I'm not sure about. This will prove your abilities, but more importantly, it will prove your commitment. We'll see about that, won't we? Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan.